It's officially fall here in California, although today is probably one of the hottest days of the week. <laughs> I still want to share some new footwear that I'm adding to my capsule wardrobe. So as of late, or actually for the past couple of years, I have been wearing sneakers on a daily basis. And as much as I love wearing sneakers, I think it's about time that I finally add in more feminine, structured, and classic footwear to my wardrobe. And Vivea came in like a fairy godmother and they were so kind enough to send me a couple of shoes and I think they are the perfect addition to my wardrobe. Vivea is an eco-friendly and sustainable footwear brand and they are focused on creating shoes that are both comfortable and stylish while meshing sustainable practices with modern technology. What I love about Vivea is that we share the same core values which are sustainability, comfort, and classic. Each pair of shoes are made out of plastic bottles that are intentionally sourced from their selected suppliers and factories. So let's start off with these beautiful flats. This is the square toe V-cut flats in the Margot 2.0 in forest green. For each pair of flats, they use six plastic bottles which transform into this beautiful, sustainable yarn. I personally love sage green and forest green. So when I saw this on the website, I instantly had heart eyes and I knew I had to get a pair. The great thing about these flats is that they bend and fold easily so you can store it in your purse or luggage when you're traveling. And the great thing is that they're also breathable and odor resistant. I recently wore these pair of flats to a family party over the weekend and I got so many compliments on it and I wore it few, for a few hours that day and I had no problems whatsoever. The insoles are really soft and cushiony, it's like walking on pillows. <laughs> this definitely adds a feminine touch to all my casual and simple outfits. The last pair I chose were these beautiful water repellent Chelsea boots in the Ryan Ankle Booty 2.0 in the color black. These are hands down my favorite Chelsea boots I've ever owned. The comfortability level definitely surpassed my expectations. I have worn this a little bit more than the flats and I just feel so beautiful and confident in them. And I especially love wearing it with this particular outfit. This is definitely gonna be my favorite outfit for the fall and winter. Now we don't get that much rain here in San Diego, but when we do get rain, I will definitely be wearing these pair of boots and I won't have to worry about my socks getting wet, which has happened before and it was not fun. So Vivea uses the European sizes. After looking at their very detailed conversion chart, I decided to go with my usual size 10, and I'm so glad I did because they are true to size. Each pair of their shoes comes packaged in their 100% recycled cardboard, which I truly appreciate. If you would like to get your hands on a pair of Vivea shoes, I have a discount code for you. You can get 10% off your next order with the code SHAR10. Check out Vivea's Instagram at Vivea underscore official. And thank you to Vivea for collaborating with me on this video. So today I am planning on going to the coffee shop. It's been long overdue. I've been wanting to draw at the coffee shop for a long time. And I'm gonna bring Maddie with me because I am gonna pick her up from school, so we're gonna go straight there. If you have been watching my videos for the past few years, you know that I used to always go to the coffee shop and sketch. It was just, it was my thing, you know? I just love the ambiance, I love the vibe. I just really enjoyed sitting in the coffee shop, people watching, drawing, enjoying my cup of coffee, and just, listening to the music, if they had music playing, yeah. And just having really good conversations with friends. I miss that. I kept telling myself, you know, you've been wanting to do this for a long time. You miss going to the coffee shops to draw, so do it. It's like ever since the pandemic, I've become a lot more socially awkward. I'm extremely introverted now more than ever. And I look back on like old, videos and old pictures before the pandemic i used to do so much i used to go to my favorite coffee shops i used to go out by myself it was it was just great last year i didn't do anything i was really like isolating myself 
from the world so i'm slowly getting back out there also if you haven't noticed i have been uploading youtube shorts so what i'm planning to do and i'm hoping i can continue this momentum is that for my youtube shorts i'm gonna be doing my urban sketch videos on there they're gonna be a lot easier for me to put together and now that i have maddie who's <laughs> old enough to help me film <laughs> um, she's really excited to help me film these videos um, and then for my introverted artist diaries it'll be more of like behind the scenes of the urban sketch videos right now i actually have to water my dad's plants because my parents are out of town for the next couple of weeks i'm hoping I do well because <laughs> he has more of a green thumb than I do. Like I have house plants, but he has fruit trees and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be really soothing and just therapeutic to be out there with the plants. And also, this is a great mindfulness activity. If you need something to like calm your nerves, or if you have anxiety, or if you're feeling stressed. Do things like this. Um, if you have a garden or even if you just have house plants, tending to the plants, you know, taking care of them, watering them, cleaning their leaves, touching the leaves, like it really keeps you grounded and in this present moment, which is why I love taking care of plants. Um, so yeah, let's do a little bit of ASMR, shall we? <laughs> Vera's doing well outside. done with the watering so I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna bring with me to the coffee shop so when I used to urban sketch I used watercolor and ink but I don't feel like using watercolor <laughs> I know surprise surprise but um I want to kind of change it up today I'm gonna bring my colored pencils today which i haven't used in forever yeah i'm gonna bring this as well as my mechanical pencil and then my of course the infamous click eraser i'll also bring my pens in case i want to do like regular ink sketches i don't know maybe i might not use this i might just use ink whatever i feel in the moment um I think these are all pretty good. Yeah, they're all sharpened. <laughs> I tend to press hard on my pens, especially for the 005. The nibs are really small now. <laughs> you gotta make sure that they're still working well. You guys, I haven't used my traditional art supplies in forever. 
So before I always wanted every page to be perfect in here, perfect enough for me to post on social media. But now I'm like, why did I do that? Because sketchbooks are just for, you know, sketches, ideas. I'm sure there are people out there that, are, that were like me where you wanted every page to look so beautiful. Um, but I think because now that I focus more on digital art, I just want my sketchbooks to just be a place for me to warm up, to be loose. You know, not really care if like I make a mistake. I really do love imperfections when it comes to sketches and drawings, but I also like things to look really detailed and really, you know, clean. But that's where my digital art comes in. So I think with like my traditional work, I just want to have fun. So yeah, I'm gonna sketch in here, do some quick, you know, sketches of people just to get myself back into drawing on the go and drawing people in motion because I still get, you know, anxious whenever I'm in the public and trying to draw someone who can't sit still. <laughs> like I always feel like, oh, I want to get this pose, but then they're moving like every five seconds. I'm excited to get back into just drawing in my sketchbooks again. So yeah, just gonna take a few things. Um, I should be leaving in about an hour. I gotta get ready and everything, so I'll see you there. Because I was doing it like consistently for like a couple of weeks and I was getting it, but then like, I stopped using it and I'm like, oh shoot. Do you have to like kind of draw what you think it looks like? We didn't have to draw like the actual cup, but we had to draw like the different types of waves, like the mm. longitudinal yeah. and the transverse. You know, I actually wanted to. Well, one of the main things I wanted to do was act. Really? I. I, <laughs> I used to. Can you like cry on command? That's one of the reasons why I wanted to because I was like, well, what would it be like? You cry so much. Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'd be good at acting then. And so <laughs> But back then, like when we still had our big camcorder, mm -hmm. I would record myself just acting out scenes from. Have you heard of the show Gilmore Girls? Is that the one with the, the mom and the daughter? Oh, you can just record me when I start coloring. Okay. I thought you said you and mommy went there. Because I remember. I don't remember going inside there ever.
It's a few hours later and today was so awesome. But anyway, I am so tired, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.